Hey everybody, I'm going to run us through the WinTech Simulator website that I put together. Um, if you want to visit the site, it's wintechsimulator.us. Uh, the introduction page uh, basically tells us that this is for wind turbine technicians. This is just the first of what will be multiple modules. Um, and we'll go ahead and watch the intro video. Let's talk about wind energy. Wind energy is great. Wind turbines don't emit pollution. Design improvements produce more energy for less cost, and once they're installed, the only resource they use is wind, which is free. But there's a problem. Sometimes wind turbines don't make energy. Sometimes this is because the wind just doesn't blow, but other times it's because something is wrong. Wind turbines are designed to prevent from hurting themselves, so if a turbine detects that something might be wrong, it shuts itself down and stops making energy. Enter the wind turbine technician. A wind tech's job is to make sure wind turbines stay up and running, so when the wind blows, they are making energy. This involves regular preventative maintenance to make sure that nothing breaks. But when it does, the wind tech also needs to figure out what's wrong and fix the problem. This process is called troubleshooting. Pause that. I absolutely love video scribe. I can see myself using this for all sorts of things. Um, probably going to build a couple of these videos for different portions of the website later on um, and probably add in some captioning later. Um, the continued instructions, they walk us through um, what some of the other resources on the website are. I'm going to jump into the interactive module next. Um, actually, let me go here. So this is going to be the framework right now. I just have the introduction to wind turbines um, done. Um, over the next piece, couple pieces of this project, um, we'll be developing these other guys. Um, so, intro to wind turbines. <clears throat> so, here are the instructions. Um, there's a lab manual it says to download um, or open in a separate window. I'll go ahead and open that. Um, the lab manual basically walks us through uh, a couple learning objectives. So, basically, learning the names and locations of some of the main components of a wind turbine um, and understand the relationships between some of the things. Um, I put together some procedures, uh, basically just using the interactive software um, and uh, giving them some tasks, locating items, being able to, to say what they are. Um, go back to the main site. Um, so from here, we can launch the simulator either within the browser. Um, it needs to be Internet Explorer or Firefox. Um, you do need a plugin. I've already installed it on here, but um, if it's your first time, you can click here to watch a, a, a screencast video of how to do that. I need to click OK and accept a couple things. Um, but once the plugin is installed, you can launch within the web browser. It takes just a minute to pop up. Um, definitely, you don't want to do this on wireless, though. Um, oh, actually, that went pretty quick. Um, so within here, I'm going to skip through, give you some instructions on how to use the simulator. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into uh, some of the features. So we have this menu, we have a simulator, so I'm going to look inside. Um, this is up top, this is called the nacelle. Um, we can look at some of the components, um, click on different items, see what they are. Um, again, we shouldn't just be you know, haphazardly clicking, we should be following along with the lab manual. Um, and go in here, we can do things like uh, enable the wind, uh, I'll go ahead and reset. Um, and I'll go ahead and hop back to the, the main site. Um, the rest of the website really consists of some additional resources, um, uh, so links to other sites, um, things that I've worked on myself, and uh, things that our collaborators have worked on for this wind energy project. Um, lots of references, and then an about page talking about this particular project, the NSF award number, goals and objectives, that sort of thing. Um, I definitely, uh, my, my biggest takeaway that I, I'm going to use all over the place is VideoScribe. I like the other tools too, um, but uh, this guy, I, I just jibe with it and I, I really loved using it. So uh, I can see myself doing it for all sorts of things in the future. Uh, thank you guys. I really, uh, really enjoyed this class. Um, getting to know you guys and hope you have a good summer. <laughs>